Welcome to Egg Drop with Mark Rubin. The Egg Drop is a science experiment for young children and YouTubers, where each competitor is responsible for building a contraption capable of protecting a raw chicken egg from a dangerous fall. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready, yeah. Do you have big plans? No. All right, let's go to the dollar store then. Welcome to... Walgreens. Walgreens. That's not the dollar store. Do you want to explain yourself? There's nothing to explain. No, but this has, this can't be like I wanted to go here. Okay, Let's it's see. definitely not Mark wanting to go to Walgreens. <laughs> Is that good? They won't. That's better. They have no idea. The rules are three dollars unless you have a really good idea and a convincing argument, then you can have more. And I get three dollars too. This is gonna be harder at Walgreens instead of the dollar store. Because the three dollars doesn't go as far. Yeah. But the quality. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, but we're throwing it on the ground. <laughs> Shoes are $14. I think this might be a mistake. I mean, like a can of Pringles. How do you spend $3? Like, you can't even buy tape. Oh boy, this is actually gonna be a challenge. Um, why, why I don't understand? Walgreens, CVS, what's the difference? Oh, it, he changed his mind last minute. And he's like, no, we need to go to CVS, not Walgreens. Okay. <laughs> we are back from the doll, this wall, CVS. Show me what you got, Mark. Chapstick. That's all I bought. And the reason I got chapstick is when I build egg drops, I like my lips to be extremely hydrated. And a big old receipt! <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be my trick. I'm MacGyvering it just out of a CVS. You made receipt. us go to CVS just to get the long receipt. <laughs> yes. I'm trying to get like the longest receipt possible. How do I get like a long one like that? It could print out like two coupons or it could print you out a long one. It's through corporate. So I see. They're the ones that okay. send everything. So I need to buy things where they would think I would want a lot of coupons. You can try, okay. but it's not a guarantee. Okay, all right. <laughs> How long is this anyways? This is like... You could like measure people's heights with CVS receipts. That's true. Okay. I'm like one and a half CVS yeah. receipts. Yeah, 1.4 CVS receipts. You're like 1.5 CVS 1. 5, receipts. 1.5, yeah, oh. at least. Cameron John is one CVS receipt. And then oh. Michael's like a half? Wow, that's a lot of coupons. Oh, what are they for even? Laxatives, yeah. aspirin. What did you get, William? I got Pringles and a, a significantly shorter <laughs> CVS receipt. You're just you're huge. You feel Why did I get a shot? Yeah, I do. Why is mine so much smaller? How much money did you spend? A dollar twenty. I'm at two oh nine, including tax. We're way under the $3 budget. We are. We're pushing limits. It means the eggs are definitely gonna break. <laughs> What's your confidence level? Wait, confidence. Are you, wait, are you using just the receipt? Yeah. And I may use the bag, so okay. I'm being very resourceful. Yeah. Do you wanna throw 10 minutes on the clock? And the timer's going, Mark. No diddle daddling. Oh, the egg! <laughs> Why do we do this? Yeah. Okay. Oh, do we have scissors? Do you actually want scissors? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, could you give me some string? This is my review of Pringles original flavor. Oh. No. Yeah. Very bland. Yeah. Doesn't the Pringles guy kind of look like an egg? Oh, wow. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I do. Welcome to the Egg Drop Challenge. <laughs> I'm using some principles from the rover landing. We have these big pressure tanks. And how do you hold on to a big spherical tank? The answer is you want to like dump the load into the side of the egg because it can like support weight. It's like a shear load as opposed to like supporting the weight here. Then it becomes a puncture load. How do they get the freaking chips in the thing? <laughs> Struggling over here. How much time do we have left? Five minutes! Uh, okay. We should have got the egg before we started. I'm making a crush cone. I have no cool terminology. I, I actually have a good question. When people say like something was made by NASA, what does that actually mean? Because it's not, like, NASA isn't just, like, some giant thing, right? Like, they, they work with, like, uh, like smaller companies Yeah, yeah, outside. contractors and stuff. Yeah, so it's like when, some, when someone says, like, made by NASA, it was mostly just, like, funded by NASA, no? Uh, but, like, we had a lot of people in-house, like, for the Curiosity rover and stuff. There was, like, 3,000 total people worked on it, maybe, like... A thousand were in house, fifteen hundred. Okay. But like, for example, the arm that dug in the dirt, that whole thing was outsourced to another company. We managed it. So you're right? kind of like doing the high level stuff and then some of the lower level manufacturing. I think did my you, egg you, just broke. Are you serious? <laughs> Here, you can have mine. What are you gonna do? I don't Take know. mine. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't really talked about my plan. My plan is to use the Pringles as a kind of like a crumple zone, and we're gonna put a little window to see if the eggs break. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah! 
How do I keep it from falling vertically? Or from not falling vertically? See, that's where you need streamers. Yeah. So little parachute. That's where I got my What parachute. if I use my CVS receipt? Yeah. Cameron John's waving kind of in a way that makes me think he knows it's not going to work, but he wants to see it not work. It's kind of like a weird pleasure out of seeing the stuff that we make fail catastrophically. Look at that. That receipt's going to do all the work. Hey! <laughs> They were on the table, dog. All is fair. You left them right there on the table. <laughs> because I'm concerned of the side load, I yeah. stole some of William's Pringles. That's a good idea. What do your parents think of YouTube? Uh, they think it's cool at this point. I've always had a job, right? Right. So it's always been like a side thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, until I quit my job last week, though. I remember you talking to you, uh, like about your grandma. Thought it was cool when you were on the local news that like nobody watches. Yeah. But doesn't think it's cool when you get. Yeah. <laughs> thanks, grandma. <laughs> yeah, thanks, grandma. <laughs> we wait. The timer hasn't gone off. Oh yeah, has the timer gone? No, we still got time. We we're actually, just shooting the bowl. Did we just finish this before the timer went off? And we got the eggs after we wow. started the timer. And I had to go get an extra egg. And I had to get scissors for Mark. Wow. There's the timer. You know what? I think no matter what happens, we're both winners. Yeah. No, I say that all the time. Onto the roof. Yeah. Roof is really hot. Real hot. <laughs> kind of dancing around right now. Oh no! Now we get to see my awesome socks. <laughs> Did you I'm mix putting it? this off like it's intentional, but it totally no. <laughs> Tell me about your egg drop contraption. So this uses a parachute, and anytime you have an egg drop, parachutes are good. Because they don't take up a lot of weight or volume, and they they're, reduce your kinetic energy. They're cheap, too. And then we got a little crush cone with my CVS receipt, and I stole some of William's uh, potato chips in case it doesn't land perfectly. Side load. This yeah, roof is really hot. Real, real hot. What do you call it? Uh, Yeet Master 2000. Yeet Master 2000. <laughs> this is a Pringles can with Pringles chips. Ouch. Uh, I cut a hole in the side so you could see the egg and I just stuck it in the Pringles. I really didn't do a lot of work and I call it Yeet Master 3000. Ah, curse you. <laughs> you thought of everything. My only weakness is a bigger number. <laughs> okay, uh, we came up with a new rule. This is the Peter Sreeple rule. If both contestants win, the person closest to the X is the winner. I taped a receipt as like a little string to try and hopefully keep it more vertical, though I doubt that's gonna happen. Yeah. Uh, that's not how physics works, William. Yeah. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, no. That didn't look good. That didn't look good, Mark. Here we go. Uh, I think it might drift, which is gonna hurt me. In three, two, one. Fly, Eat Master. Fly. Hey, that's pretty good. <gasps> wow. You it didn't make any sound. Mine kind of exploded. Hey. Wow. <laughs> you, could, you could barely hear it. Alright, let's go check it out. <laughs> Mine's cracked. Mine's cracked. Mm. Uh, it hit too hard on the corner and then it like slammed. Is that what happened? Yeah. Oh look, look at, at that it. crumple it's though. Barely. Maybe. That that's a, that's energy absorption right there. Look at all this receipt, dude. I feel like I better do this. I have the egg drop video on the internet. It's yeah. Like the go-to, right? Right. You, you use it in your intro. Yeah. Except tell the people what you did. Uh, I, I, the intro is 100% You tell the people what you did. Right? I, I, in a uh, futile attempt to make Mark look bad, we cut his video right as the egg was falling in the contraption and switched to our footage where I threw the same contraption against the ground really hard. Nobody noticed. Not even you noticed. Yeah, that's true. I, I, like we, I spent 40 minutes. Like I went to the store and bought yeah. straws of the same color just to piece it together. Yeah, and you're like, did you notice what you did? I was like, and you're like, what are you talking about? I mean, you used my intro. I don't know. Anyways, my lawyer will be contacting you soon. Oh no. Well, I, I have to concede. Okay. I don't know. I'm just using big words. And okay. you win. That's yep. your prize. You yep. have to eat it whole now. I'll do it. Okay. Go check Mark out. He's a up and comer. I think. You know, you're almost past a million subscribers. Yep. Um, so <laughs> let's go give him a boost. William Osmond egg drop boost. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be watching this. If there's somebody you want to see lose to me in an egg drop competition, leave a comment down below. And we'll see you next time. And then we salute at the end. The American, American music, like national anthem oh, plays or something. Like that. Yeah, and you just hold it and stare into the sun. Oh, it's so bright. <laughs>